Today, millions of Americans across North America and the United States had the rare chance to watch a solar eclipse. The total solar eclipse, which has been nicknamed the Great American Eclipse for its long path over North America, was visible in 15 states. And there were varying views of a partial eclipse where they were enjoyed throughout the rest of the country, including by members of our team here in D.C. and in New York. Remember, it was only back in August of 2017 that the last solar eclipse cut across the United States. And just like today, Americans throughout the country paused their days to safely gaze at the sun through their protective shades, with, of course, the notable exception of this guy. In past millennia, solar eclipses used to be tied to mass superstition and fear a long time ago. But now they're instead rare moments of collective awe, where people get to watch an incredible and frankly, very cool celestial event. But sometimes, even in this day and age, some folks try really hard to make it something more. Like on Friday, the day of the earthquake that rumbled parts of the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic, Republican Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene posted this, quote, God is sending America strong signs to tell us to repent, earthquakes and eclipses, and many more things to come. I pray that our country listens. I mean, I'm just going to pause on that for statement for a moment because it's just, it's really something and you need to read it. Now, her post was, of course, quickly tagged with a community note that pointed out that the U.S. averages about four earthquakes a day. That's what happens. And that solar eclipses are able to be predicted well in advance. But have no fear. Congresswoman Green doubled down on her post, writing, quote, many have mocked and scoffed at this. Correct. She noted Yes, eclipses are predictable and earthquakes happen. However, God created all of these things and uses them to be signs for those of us who believe. I mean, another explanation is sometimes these things are just coincidences. Maybe, I mean, but even Fox News attempted to not so subtly tie the eclipse to their favorite all-time political issue. Fox News alert, a rare celestial event collides with a policy failure on the ground. The southern border will be directly in the path of totality today when the moon covers the sun for nearly four minutes. The funny thing is back in 2017, the last time there was a solar eclipse in the U.S., no serious person was trying to spin it this way. But in the larger context of the language that the right is pushing, seven months out from Election Day, by the way, fear-mongering about invading migrants on livable cities and Donald Trump warning about a bloodbath if he is not reelected, this is just another example of the fear that they are all too eager to inject into anything and everything under the sun. Hey, everyone. MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it. 